Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today I decided to head out to Varonga Savannah and see what we can do with the lion populations because we still need to get ourselves a rare male lion, and I figured we might as well continue grinding for it now. But since this little kudu was walking by, I figured we might as well take it out also. It was a decent little level 4. Typically we have some lions here, but I don't think they've arrived at their zone yet, so we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer, but in the meantime we got this little kudu down right here. And it's 2510. Not a bad one. I think this is the smaller horns for the level 4s, but still not too bad. Always good to get the 4s down for respawns. And that is the mating call of a male lion, so they're definitely coming in. I probably am gonna try and hide a little bit and wait for this thing to come out. Because I don't actually know which direction it's gonna be coming from. Oh, there he is. I was almost positive that I had lost this guy, but he's right here. Well, let's get him down. <laughs> Did not expect him to be that close, so let's go grab him. That was a really solid hit. That guy went down so fast compared to what I'm used to. We must have got double lung and maybe even vertebrae. And it's, wow, double lung liver. I mean, that explains it. That's definitely why he went down so fast. Not bad. It's only level five, but at least we already got a lion down. So that right there, might not be a lion, but that is a max weight estimate level for a wildebeest. And those make diamond pretty often, so I definitely want to get a shot into it and get it on the ground because that very well could be a diamond. And if that's the case, that would be awesome. I do like the wildebeest, so always happy to put more of them in the lodge. I think the biggest issue is just going to be getting these guys in a spot where I can actually shoot them because they keep running back into the brush and that's not where I want them to be. But I think if we catch up to them in time, we might be able to do the 22 trick and get him to stop, but I don't know if he's in the front or the back. If he's in the front, then he's already gonna be in the brush. If he's in the back, we should be able to get him though. There he is. Actually, wait a minute, that's a different one. That's got a much higher estimate. Oh, he's actually fleeing away, so he's not gonna stop to the 22. I didn't see he was fleeing at first, so we're gonna have to sneak up a little bit closer. Then once he stops, we should be able to do the 22 trick and then hopefully get a shot into him. That does look to be a pretty big one though. I think that one's gonna be a diamond. It definitely looks to be that way. So there's the first one. I guess since he's right there, we could try to take him out first. He's in a much better spot. That will get him to stop running. Zero to 300 and that should be a good shot. I think we nailed him. And he's losing HP, so we definitely got that shot right into a lung. That is awesome. I'm excited to see what he scores. But I don't know where... Oh. Speaking of the other one, there he is. I was just about to say I don't know where he went. But we definitely just found him. Just want to real quickly double check on the range. He is about 400 meters away. I think we can do this. It's not going to be easy, but I'd say it's definitely doable if we can find him again. The only problem is I don't know where I'm going to have to aim at 400 meters. So that should be good right there. And that looked to be a solid hit, honestly. I mean, we're not going to be able to tell because he just went out of render, but that looked like a solid hit. I've got high hopes for that one. I'm going to keep an eye on the hunting pressure and see if it appears fast. Because I think we got that. So it did die at about the same time that this one did, or I guess in the same amount of time that this one did. And I think that we got both of them vitally, so... We might have ourselves at least one diamond wildebeest, hopefully two. But I'm going to guess that the lower scoring estimate one probably won't make it. But I think the higher scoring one will, and in fact, if I remember right, 36 might be diamond. I can't remember if it's 36 or 38. If 36 is diamond, that means the one was guaranteed. But I really don't hunt the wildebeest too much, so 
I can't remember what their diamond score is. We'll find out soon. So that's Vital Blood, and that is from the second one that we shot, so that one is guaranteed to be a good shot at least. I don't know about the first one though. I saw him down somewhere near here, but I didn't actually find any of his tracks, so we'll try to figure out where he died, and then I'll get back to you guys, I guess. So this is the second one that we shot. This was the one that had an estimate up to 41. So I think this one right here will be a diamond. But like I was saying, I don't really know what their scoring is like, so... It is just a gold, 37.60, wow! <laughs> this must have been like .01 below. That's really unfortunate. This must have been ever so slightly below 37.60. Because for those of you that don't know, Pretty much in Call of the Wild, any time that it gets .01 above this number, it just rounds it up to the next one. So, for all we know, this could be 37.51, and it would still show 37.60. So that's a little, little bit unfortunate, but it was so close. Well, there's another 265 to 290. I actually didn't even see that one at first, so wait, is that... I think that might be an albino. Uh, it's second look, I think it's just the lighting, because a couple others kind of look like that too, so... I'm going to assume it's just the weird lighting. But this right here is the other potential diamond. This one had a lower score estimate, but still a chance. And this one was just below two. That's unfortunate. Well, we have one more chance, so let's try to get him down. This honestly shouldn't be too difficult of a shot. He's not in the worst spot. And he's only 150 away, so... We can just keep him highlighted. However, I think there actually might be one in front of him. So I definitely want to make sure that nobody's in front of him. So they ended up walking off, and I'm pretty sure that they've just left their need zone at this point. So I don't really want to waste too much time chasing after them. We can always come back and try to get that max weight estimate one later. But I do want to continue hunting lions. I don't want to waste too much more of the drink time. So let's go get a few more lions. There is two more lions. We got a six and a seven. Uh, looks like he's going to do that fleeing thing where they kind of bounce around a little bit and then stop. So let's get him down. And this one too if we can. That should be a hard shot, and I think by the fact that it dropped, it definitely was a hard shot. And I think this first one actually got saved by the bush, so we're going to try and get over here for a little bit better angle and take him out. Well, it did run off, it looks like. I don't think that shot actually hit it, so let's get its attention. And this should be a much more makeable shot. I'm guessing the bush probably saved him on the first one. But that one should be a long shot, and it is. So we got two decent lions down. There is the level 6, 44, 30, so it did make gold. And we definitely got a hard shot. Not too bad. And there's our other lion that should have died on the first shot, but got saved by the bush. 45.10. That one is a little bit above gold, a little bit better than the last one, slightly heavier, 226. But that's to be expected because it is a level 7. But I'm glad to see we're finding some males. The last couple days I've had quite a few issues with primarily finding females only, so it's good to see some males and even a decent one at that. So there's a level 5 lion. Uh, he's also doing that fleeing thing where they get kind of stuck in place. I would have thought that this would have been something they would fix by now, but it's been in the game ever since they released. And I think this one got saved by a bush again. Yeah, there's most definitely a bush there that is saving him. That's the one thing that I've always hated about for Honga. These bushes are bullet sponges. There we go. Now we can actually get a shot into him. I don't think that actually had vitals. I mean, maybe, but... 
If it did, it was just barely. Well, even if the first shot didn't hit vitals, the second one did, so... We should have saved him unless something weird happened and we got a vertebrae or skull shot, but I don't think so because we aimed kind of low on that first one. And the first shot was stomach. I guess that explains why the health was kind of going down, but not super fast. And then second shot pretty much sealed the deal there. So I wanted to end it off with killing a few lions at this lake, but unfortunately it looks like they're leaving as of now. We might be able to get a shot off and kill this one if we're lucky though. Well, she's in a better spot now, so I think we can probably get her if we're lucky. And that did look to be a solid hit. And she is going down. But the primary reason I wanted to get a couple lines down at this lake for the last place we visit during this drink time is this is actually where we got our albino one during the live stream last night. Or, well, by the time this goes up, it'll be two nights ago. But basically what happened was I had just got a brand new microphone and I wanted to do a test stream to kind of break it in, get everything set up the way that it needs to be for the normal live streams. And we happened to run across it right as we were going to claim a lion, just like we are now. So I guess before we get over and claim this thing, let's go ahead and check that clip out. Yeah, I've heard that from a decent bit of people, Nathaniel. It seems really split on Tiawaroa. There's a lot of people that love it and a lot that really hate it. And it really just comes down to what you expected out of the map, I guess. Wait, was that it? Was that it? Oh my gosh, are you... That was an albino lion. There's... Oh my gosh, there's no way. There's no way we just found that. Oh my gosh, there's... There's no way. Are you kidding me? It is. It's a female though. <laughs> I mean, that's still really cool though. Oh my gosh. I have been after one of these for so long. This is the whole reason that we've been shooting as many lions as we can the past, uh, like two weeks. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I don't want to mess this shot up. I think we got it. We got it. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? We actually found an albino lion. I am so happy that it didn't take as long as it did for Zaggy to get his. I think he spent over a year trying to find it. And we just found one like what? Maybe two, three weeks into the grind. We got our diamond about a week ago and then... I've just been shooting every lion I come across since then in hopes of getting a blonde male or an albino female or albino male and yeah, that's what we just got. I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. Oh my gosh. And it is a good shot. We got vitals. That's so cool guys. I can't believe it. This is the first time I've ever seen an albino lion in my entire time playing Call of the Wild. I've been playing the game ever since it initially came out and I've never had the opportunity to take down an albino lion. That's so awesome. Get that taxidermized immediately. And ooh, that shot was almost bad. Left lung, liver, stomach. Wow. That's so cool. That is so cool. I This just might be my favorite trophy now. This just might be my new favorite trophy. That is amazing. Well, I guess we need to go take down our other multi-mount and make a new one. Just the fact that we found that lion during a test stream is just insane to me. It seems you always find the best trophies at the times you least expect them. And that was definitely one of those situations. I never would have expected to find an albino lion, something I've wanted for so long, during a test stream that I probably would never have even done if I hadn't got the new microphone. So it's crazy how things work sometimes. But I honestly couldn't be happier. It is a trophy that I've wanted for a long time and it really pulls the multi-mount together. So let's actually jump into the lodge now and take a look at it. I think it really, really looks insane. I'd like to get an albino male to kind of tie the mount together, 
to make it look even more insane, but as of now, I'm really liking it. And there it is. I still can't believe that we finally got an albino in this multi-mount, but as I was saying, I would love to get a male one to kind of go along with this. I think that would be super cool having a level 7 albino cape along with an albino female lion and hopefully eventually an albino male lion. And we do have this blonde female in here, which I think it looks pretty good. It kind of makes it so not everything's the same, which I do like. But at the same time, it would be awesome to have an all albino mount. But the odds of that are so low that I don't think we'll ever actually get to do that. At least not anytime soon. But before we put this albino in this mount, I did have a dark brown there. And I don't really think the dark brown females look that great. I mean, it's so hard to tell the difference between them and the normal ones that the albino is just so much better. And that's one of the main reasons that I wanted to find an albino, whether it was a female or a male. I was kind of just shooting everything that I could lion wise in hopes of getting one of them to eventually spawn. I would have preferred the male, but I'm happy with the female. But anyway guys, if you are brand new to the channel, consider subscribing. I do post videos three to five times a week along with daily live streams, so there is tons of the Hunter content to be had along with various other games from time to time. If you haven't already, be sure to hit the like button and leave a comment down below with video ideas or just anything that you guys would like. It really does help the video out a ton and it helps the channel grow, so it really is appreciated. But with that being said guys, thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.